I wanted to um, punch the producer and quit and go home pretty much every day. Can you describe maybe for us the uh, the house that you all live in in, in in Oxford? What sort of house is it? Uh, it's a town. It's a townhouse. That's um, it's like five five floors. It looks quite unremarkable from the outside. It's not. Um, it's not in particularly bad or good condition. It looks quite average. But then inside, it's kind of a different world. It's um, we have a basement studio that we originally was like a kind of building site. It wasn't. It was derelict, and the the person that owned the house said that we could do whatever we wanted to. So we got some friends into paint, and um, the guy that does a lot of our artwork painted, and then. We built a kind of ramshackle studio. It wasn't like a professional kind of studio. But. And then we just had a, a series of bedrooms upstairs. So there would be, I think legally there was seven of us living there. And then the number would sort of double at various times in the year. And when did you, well, inhabit the house? Do you still we, we got the house when we finished touring Antidotes, our first record, which was dis December. We moved in J January 2009. Um, and then we 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 still have the house now. I think we'll probably le we'll probably move now though, because yeah. it was it was really f for the specific purpose of having a base while we were recording this record and while we were in Oxford. But now that we're on tour again, we don't we'd, we won't see it again. So, how important has this house been for this new album? It's been important because it allowed us to operate in a way that was free of the sort of the more irritating practicalities of being in a band, like having to go to specific practice rooms and having certain times, it meant that it became a much more fluid process. It wasn't, um, we would play when we wanted to play and we wouldn't play if we didn't feel like it. And we didn't have any external distractions. We didn't have much contact with anyone that we, you know, we didn't want to have contact with. So it was like a, a retreat from, um, from, the, from the outside world. And it meant that it happened very. It meant that the record was written in an organic fashion. It didn't feel industrial. It didn't feel like we were making a product or something that would eventually be a CD or anything. It was like um, it felt. Uh, it felt kind of like pure in a way. What did it do to, to the sound? Because well, the first album was more dance beat orientated. This is more soundscape. Why is it because of you working together more? Or is it just coincidence? Maybe. I mean, no, I think, it, I think some of it probably is to do with the house. I mean, we played, I would play, we, we played not with each other the whole time. We would play like, it was more fragmented, the writing process on this record. Before, when we did Antidotes, we were always in a practice room together and we'd play very loud for a very long time. And then we'd do parties and we would do some shows and stuff. So it was a much more um, open kind of, thing it was like we were doing other things whilst we were writing whereas with this it was much more private and it became like I would uh, a lot of the vocals particularly were written um, on my own and it would be a quite a quiet volume and nobody else would necessarily be around for example so I'd do it on my own and then say it's Jimmy would come and then Jack would come and then Walter would come and um, so I think it just meant that we were less constraint to our roles as musicians within the band, it meant that it would become more of just five people making music rather than guitarist, guitarist, drummer, bassist, etc. Yeah.